So my numerators, we are going to be adding mixed numbers today, okay? And remember, mixed numbers, um, please stop, are when we have a whole number and a fraction. That's what mixed numbers are. When we have a whole number and a fraction, okay? So we are going to be adding mixed numbers today. So if we have a problem, that looks like this. We have three and one fourth plus two and one fourth, okay? So what we do is we first add our whole numbers. Five. Okay, so three plus two is five. five. Okay, then we add our fractions. Okay, and we add our fractions like we did last week. So what is one fourth plus one fourth? No, remember. Oh, that's two. Not your two birthday. fourths. Thank you. Okay, so it's two fourths because remember we add our numerators, which is two, and then our denominator stays the same. So it's five and two fourths. Okay, so again, we add our whole numbers, then we add our fractions, and we get our answer of five and two fourths. Okay, now just like last week when we were simplifying, um, we can still simplify this, okay? I need you to be in the action. Sorry. Okay, so when we are simplifying, our whole number still stays the same because we have five holes. That number doesn't change, okay? But we simplify our fraction the same way we were doing last week. So we find our greatest common factor of two and four. So what numbers do I multiply together to make two? One. Mm -hmm. Two and one. Awesome. Okay, and that's it, right? What numbers do I multiply together to make four? Four and two. Two and two and, two. Two and, two and four and one. Perfect. Okay. So what's my greatest common factor? Two. Two. And then remember, I divide my numerator and denominator by two. So what's two divided by two? One. One. What's four divided by two? Two. 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 So my answer in simplest form is five and one half, okay? So we are adding whole numbers, adding fractions, and then simplifying, okay? Let's try another one. Questions right now. All right, let's try another one. One and one third plus two and one third. Okay, so we're first going to add our what? Uh, three plus three plus three no. Nope. nope. We're first going to add our whole numbers. So what's one plus two? Three. Then we're going to add our fractions. We have three first. We have one third plus one third. So what's one plus one? Two. Two. Two first. And our denominator stays the same. Okay, so right now we have three and two thirds. But we want to see if our fraction is in simplest form. So but why do you want to see? Well, we have to see, we have to make our fraction in simplest form. So we have to find. 
the greatest common factor of two and three. What numbers do I multiply together to make two? What numbers do I multiply together to make two? One and two. Thank you. What numbers do I multiply together to make three? One and three. One and three. So what's my greatest common factor of two and three? One. One. Since my greatest common factor is one, that's already in simplest form. So my answer is three and two thirds. Okay, questions. Any questions? All right, let's look at one more. Okay, are we paying attention? Okay. So let's do five and one eighth plus two and three eighths. Okay, so where am I going to start? What am I going to add first? What am I going to add first? Five plus five and the two. Five plus two. Very good. I'm going to add my whole numbers. And what's five plus two? Seven. 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 Then I'm going to add what? One, Your. Three, four, and four my my fractions. Yeah. So what is one eighth plus three eighths? Four eighths. Four eighths. Okay, but I'm not done because I have to simplify. So again, I have to find the greatest common factor of four and eight. What numbers multiply together to make four? four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. Nope, you're doing multiple. We're trying to find factors. Okay, what numbers multiply together to make eight? One, two, four, and eight. One, two, four and eight. Awesome. So what's my greatest common factor? Four. Four. Okay. So now I divide my numerator and denominator by four. So my whole number stays the same. What is four divided by four? One. One. What is eight divided by four? Two. Two. So my answer is seven one half. So we say that seven and one half, okay? So similar to when we have the decimal point, we say that word and, okay? Any questions about adding mixed numbers? All right, so I'm gonna show you what your work is going to look like for today. Um, again, you will have those two pages um, that you'll have to click through both of them. So let me share my screen on the board. All right, so your work looks like this. Again, you have your homework helper um, to remind you on how to do it, okay? Then you have one and two on the first page. You'll have to go to the second page. Um, so again, you're gonna find each sum, write it in simplest form. And then you have four word problems, okay? Um, when you are done, work on your extra math and dream box. Any questions before you get started? All right, I will come back.